was under investigation. <laughs> what? I'm Tommy G, and today we're investigating the worst motel in Alabama. This gift, they should put me in the zoo. Pandemic flow, you would think I got the flu. I gamble on myself, you can bet I do a milli. From the mill, killing shit like Buffalo Billy. I was anxious the first time when I shot that Tim. We may encounter bugs. Oh, there's one over here, too. Really? People throwing up gang signs. Bugs. <laughs> Look at that. And other scary things, like people trying to bust in your room in the middle of the night. Will I recommend this stay to anybody? No, but I recommend you stick around to the end to find out and see what happens. If they run out of rooms, they do um, allow you to reserve spots on their concrete in the parking lot. Folks, life is about the journey. We're here to explore, discover, and today's episode is a little bit different than usual. You see, today we're taking you to the worst motel in Alabama, appropriately named the Bama Inn. And to give you an idea of what this place is like, let's read some reviews of the Bama Inn. Three months ago, a woman named Selena wrote this, absolutely the worst place to stay in in the state of Alabama. Janet said, terrible hookers, meth heads, everywhere, day and night. Barry said, one of the staff stole my money. Judy Nagel Nagel said horrible maid stole money Robin Rob Hammond Briggs said Bama Inn is probably the absolute worst motel in Alabama the operation happened on a Monday afternoon in late March police tell us the six men arrested each approached an undercover officer and offered him or her between five and forty dollars for various sex acts now at this point you might be asking me Tommy why the heck are you going to this place what I say to you is this, my job is to discover the underworld, to go off the beaten path. I don't stay on the resort, I don't go to the touristy spots, I go to the places where things really go down. Now let me give you some context about me and the boys. Going into this episode, we had been on the road for a while. We had drove from Milwaukee to Atlanta to Alabama, and now we were on the road heading towards Tennessee. So at this point we were tired, slap happy, and ready for whatever the Bama Inc. could throw at us. With that in mind, let's begin today's episode. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's not even a lobby to walk into because it's so dangerous. There's just a glass window you go up to get your room. We're looking to get a room, a double double queen. I got one room with a double bed and it's strictly no smoking room. We don't smoke. No pets and no smoking. No pets? No pets. Nope, we don't have any pets. Okay. Do people often bring pets here? I mean, yeah, some sneak their pets in too. Is this I bulletproof just... glass? Yeah, it is bulletproof. <laughs> oh my God. What room did we get? 201. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good one. What the <laughs> are we doing here? <laughs> when I thought of motel, I did not think like thuggery. I thought like white trash. This place is a <laughs> shit hole. We finna have no stuff. <laughs> <laughs> First sign of trouble. That is for rats. Cool. Well, this is this is perfect, isn't it? Someone was using tin foil and lighting it to burn back. That's not a good sign. For security, we have our car parked directly in front of a room. We have these lovely uh, duct tape to tell us which door is ours. But well, we didn't get that luxury here at this fine establishment. We're gonna have to barricade this door. Here's our next step. We have to figure out if it's safe bug-wise to bring our stuff in here. <sighs> oh, fucking spoon. Are these cigarette burns, dude? I think this is a bug at first. Someone just burned cigarettes through this. <laughs> you know how much bodily fluid is here? Oh, first hair. Honestly, it could be worse. Look. Is that a roach? Yeah, it's a roach. Oh, what the What the <laughs> <laughs> Is this blood? Well, how are there so many holes? Like, are people just lighting cigarettes? In I love blunts. No. I would not make even a hot pocket in this thing. Not bad, minus whatever this is. Now the luxurious bathroom. Kids, you know why you don't smoke? Pretend this was your lungs. It started off nice and whatever, cream colored, and then all the smoke gets on there. Now you can't breathe when you want to play sports. You know what, the shower is like, you can definitely, oh. First live bug. Now we have to figure out how are we sleeping in here? What are we gonna do for bedding? Okay, get a cheap Fruit of the Loom sweatsuit, tuck it into our socks with a hoodie, and just lay on top of the sheets. And get the tarp. 
You think we get a tarp? Yeah. <laughs> you think we should get a tarp? Yeah, two get tarps. Get yeah, a tarp for each bed? Yeah. I'm gonna send our pest control contact some of these pictures so he can confirm for us. Just because of the reviews that we've read, I'm gonna preemptively call pest control to see if I can schedule an appointment for tomorrow morning. Thank you for calling Cook's Pest Control. Can we text you pictures of what we encounter? Yeah, I'll be glad to identify something. If you send me a picture, I can tell you what, uh, what it is. I got your picture message here. I'm about 95% sure. They all appear to be German roaches. German roaches. It's a tricky pest to get rid of, but it requires a special service, and it's definitely something that wouldn't go away with one treatment. The owners of the hotel need to know about it. How long are you staying in that room? As least amount of time as possible. Make sure you take your suitcases, inspect them thoroughly. They're definitely breeding in the unit because there's nymphs and adults. So if any of those eggs get laid in your belongings, you're going to carry them home with you. I already just feel itchy right now, sir. I understand. The staff needs to know about it. I appreciate you getting back to us real quick, and I hope you have a good night. I would call you again, but I don't want to bug you. You're, you're fine. Snitch man, I done seen a lot. How these niggas turn to rest when they get locked up in the box. I don't even like to talk. Man, I don't talk at all. All right, let's get our checklist together. We're for sure gonna need like a sweatsuit and cheap clothes to wear that we can throw away and incinerate afterwards. <laughs> Number two, we're gonna need security. So some sort of door jam. And keep someone from entering our door. That was a common complaint that people just enter your room while you're in it. <laughs> Toiletries, because we're not bringing our own shit in here. We're staying in a bug infested motel room and we're we're trying to not touch the sheets with our body. So we're getting a tarp so we can sleep on top of that. So that's not gonna let you sweat a lot since it's plastic. Better or than you're getting, experimenting. <laughs> no, better than getting eaten by bugs, right? Oh yeah, that's true. We have an extra spot in the room if you want to join. <laughs> Unless you're gonna hire me for security. Got a gun on yeah, always. <laughs> this is Alabama. <laughs> let me show you where the tarp is. I'm from Jamaica. No, you sound like you're from Alabama. <laughs> We're sleeping in the same room, but it's not like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Is this, what do you call that series on TV? Um, um, How I Met My Jamaican Wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, 90 Day Fiance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put it against the um, lock. This episode is sponsored by Brinks Home Security. <laughs> <laughs> if you have drug addicts trying to bust into your room at night, Brinks, home security. Let me show you the reviews. This place is ghetto. Someone was smoking crack downstairs. <laughs> they had a lot of baby roaches. I wish you all the best, okay? Hey, may God be with you. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> you need it more. We're not wearing any of our clothes into this room because we're not crazy. So we need to buy full sweatsuits and socks. We're filming an episode for the Travel Channel. We're staying in the Alabama Inn. Are you guys familiar with that place? Ooh. Oh, you poor guys. We have a tarp. We're gonna put over the bed, and we also have a um, security lock. Are we missing anything from our equation? Uh, a gun. Gang, gang. All right, be safe. Uh -huh. I don't let go of the purse, but I can't be without it. Couldn't think, couldn't even eat, couldn't even sleep without it. They locked my dog up for an M, and I don't wanna speak about it. We didn't want to change at the motel, so we're changing the Walmart parking lot where it's safer. Being questioned by investigators. In that room, nigga, the one thing we didn't anticipate is if there's a faction of bloods stationed at this motel. We're wearing all blue. We don't want to get a bopping. We don't want there to be a bobbery. Actually, a bizalted. We don't want to get. Um, we don't want to get kidnapped. We don't want to get babested. We don't want to get band buffed and baped. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey! Do you guys think this is a good idea to stay at the worst motel no, in Alabama? No. No. Yes. Do we look suspicious right now? No. Okay. And also, what do you think of our... look perfectly normal. Thank you. What do you think of our Scooby-Doo socks? Very good. Cool. Very cool. I'll show you guys the Milwaukee dance moves. Oh. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get into it. <laughs> Phase one is to scout out what we're working with. We're going to send up the drone, and we're going to see, assess the situation. So Miguel is launching the drone. Yes, sir. He's sending the drone behind enemy lines. One element of being stealthy is to not draw any extra <laughs> attention to yourself. This happens every once in a while. <laughs> Let's go into the command center. Brigadier General Miguel, what do you see so far? Go closer to that guy in the ledge. <laughs> what do you see, Zach? <laughs> Is he throwing up king <laughs> <laughs> 
This place is crawling too, by the <laughs> way. I think this is what the police would call a hot spot. <laughs> oh my God. It's one thing to stay at a motel that doesn't take care of its shit. It's another to totally stay in a, like, a place where you feel like you might die. <laughs> People are gonna think with the government. <laughs> I just have to say that objectively, we look ridiculous <laughs> right now. We all have Scooby-Doo socks on, baby blue suits. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Bedtime preparation, boys. Hey, bitch, you know what the fuck going on? If you get out of line, we gonna get your ass gone. Put your ass on a shirt, I ain't talking sleeve long. Kick that bitch out the bin, bitch, you suck the D wrong. It's 2023, I just... Should we test it where you go outside, I set it up, and you try and break in? Sure. Cause then it'd be a polite okay. blood breaking in. The plan now is just to relax a little bit. We've been on the road. We've been, went from Milwaukee, Chicago, Atlanta, Alabama. Tomorrow we leave to go to Tennessee and then back to Milwaukee. So this is a road trip. <laughs> All right, let's test the sink. Strong force on the sink. Do they have towels here? And do we use no, a there's no towels. There's no towels? <laughs> My secret to going to sleep fast every single night is reading a book. Sometimes it's a biography. Sometimes this is a classic, all right? This is an absolute classic. A book can just take you to a whole nother world. Sometimes when you're in a tough area, tough situation, you want to go to another world. Good night, folks. I'll see you in the morning. Was it at our door 100%? 100% that was at our door. Yeah. I heard it like right next to my head. Mm -hmm. So they just tried to see if we were, I think they just tried it. The Google reviews did say <laughs> that people try and get into your room or out here. I keep kind of hearing some like scuffles yeah. out there. Someone's out there, man. The next three hours are prime crime hours from midnight. Is that a woman screaming? 100% a woman screaming. From midnight. So far, no bugs though, right? I feel like it's been a bug free night. Come on. Long, long night. Let's explore. Oh, he's going fast. He's zooming. Oh, there's one over here too. Really? This is not acceptable. We didn't have towels. The sheets were dirty, gross, and there's bugs in our room. Let's go confront them. Morning, how you doing? Guess what? There was bugs all over the room. There was no towels. There was a whole family of roaches. It looks like there was a crime scene on the sheets. Did you know that there was bugs there? No, I mean, the room was clean. Stop the cow. Literally, the first step we took in there, we saw bugs. You can come yeah, look we, with we us. We have been doing periodical uh, pest control. Can we get any towels? Yeah, but the thing is, we don't have towels here on the front desk. How long would it take to get yeah, towels? Let's say in an hour. An hour? Come on, man. What do you want us to do? We haven't showered yet since we've been here. and We checked in at 6 last night. The moment I see housekeeper here, the first thing you do is... Come on, dude. He's just lying to my... Face. Oh, I'm very sorry. I promise I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dude, this motherfucker didn't give us any towels and he said there's no towels here. Oh, uh, yeah, man. It's the most ratchetest hotel it is, man. <laughs> it's it's Dude, crazy, man. Dude, we moved in. We saw roaches. Then I go talk. I'm like, hey, man, uh, you know there's bugs there. And he's like, oh, no, the housekeepers were in there. I'm like, no, no literally like from step one into the room, we saw. I, I moved up out of here. It was a big ass rat. It was a big ass rat that was up under my sink. Big ass rat came up under my door. I got scared and jumped on the bed and I told them they didn't do nothing about it. So I moved out and I moved to the um, the Southern Comfort down there. It's way better. I'm going to keep it real. It's drug infested. Damn near everybody died of fentanyl in this motherfucker. Like, this 
motherfuckers under investigation. Bro. <laughs> what? I swear to God, bro. I swear to God. They will not give you a refund. After 15 minutes, you done um, checked in. Say if you give them your money and you go check out your room, like you say, got roaches, rats. 15 minutes go by and then you try to go back, they won't give you a refund. Like this is the worst hotel in Huntsville to stay at. We're gonna keep this investigation going, sir. You have a good day, you okay? Too, All right, we're gonna see who else is up. <laughs> Every single door opens up. They didn't give us no towels. Yo, wrap. Oh, I could wrap a little bit. Ready? Okay. Yo, it's Tommy G. I'm at the Bama Inn. Let me tell you how many bugs I saw in my room. And wait, maybe want to sleep in a tomb rather than in my room because I felt a little nasty. But then I didn't feel great, like Great Gatsby. Oh, uh, so I went into my shower. I guess what there was? There was a roach. So of course I jumped really far. So I didn't touch the roach, but I still touched it once or twice. I rolled the dice. We slept on tarps tonight. What do we need it? That's a good question. Do you think this place is up to expectations? Everything could do an upgrade, you know. All right, sir. Well, hey, stay safe. I hope you had a good night's sleep. All right, take it easy. Dude, we still haven't gotten our towels in this. Oh shit, for real, what's up? Uh, are you, uh, hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. Reserve them, what? <laughs> hey, we checked in at six, and we, still, we still have not got our towels. Oh, f I can't fucking five. It's almost five in the afternoon. Bro, I'm geeking so hard, dude. I said it was five in the afternoon. It's just now morning. I almost like, cut the camera. Right. I need to I think he thinks that's his sister. What would you guys do? The front desk is claiming that they don't have access to towels. That shit don't make sense. Y'all got access to the rooms, y'all got access to towels. That's like being like, man, I got I got uh I got gold, but I don't have gold accessories. Uh, we gotta we gotta get an extra key that we lost to get to the diamond vault. Like what the f Do we yeah. ask for a refund? They ain't gonna give no refund, dude. Is this place known for <laughs> no, yeah, like, shisty like, practices? On some, yeah, on got on rolling twenties crit, man. Like seriously though, like you know how many times me and my girl done checked in and they just trespassed me. I got to know where like, I'm like damn, I can't get my money back. Oh damn, dude, I'm tripping so hard that that was my girl. That's an old ass woman. But um, if they run out of rooms, they do um allow you to reserve spots on their concrete, on the con in the parking lot. I've seen them rent out the orange room. <laughs> what drug is that, dude? He's like psych in psychosis, bro. Yeah. I actually feel for both the residents and the owners. Either card would be a hard one to be dealt. This seems like more of a rough times, long-term stay kind of a place. They don't have towels, so we should probably just hit the road. Yeah, let's hit the road. The boys got to bond, and that's important. I think a lot of times in life you bond over the, the difficult things. When you realize that when you go through tough things with people, that's the some of the best memories you'll ever have. I'm angry at the owners, but I also have a sympathy for them. If your client was Mr. Hallucinating on his bike, it would be hard to keep a nice place. That guy is inviting bugs in all day. But do they really care? Did they really clean the room? You don't have towels, dude? Like these are some things that you could have won yourself some points, but you didn't. So we're gonna have to go find a truck stop, take a shower, and hit the road. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us on this journey. We'll see you next week. Folks, hope you enjoyed this episode. You wanna watch another? Here. You wanna subscribe? Over here. See you next week.